she's so beautiful and talented. She says that she hates that she still gets stage fright despite some previous experience in public performance. But she's got a truly strong-willed character. I'm very excited to have my next guest here. Hi, Patricia. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. You are an amazing, amazing musician. Thank you very much. Now, your story, you've been here before. And yes. you kind of know the Power Breakfast family. <laughs> I'm not even going to, you know, get it started. But tell us your story. Um, you've been singing for a while. Before Project Fame, you were actively uh, a musician yeah. with Hood Boys. Yes. Um, doing a lot of campaigns uh, around Nairobi. Tell mm. us tell us where your story starts when it comes to music. Well, actually, I've been singing from way, way back. Mm -hmm. From around the age of 9, 10. I used to sing at weddings. Really? Yeah, my mom used to pimp me <laughs> she if any of her friends are getting married she'd be like oh please please can if my, my daughter, daughter sing? Do the same. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you know i used to really love it i'd sing the first song in church and then the rest of the wedding i'm there with the bride please can i sing another song right. please so i i really enjoyed it and you know my mom would would she tried taking me for voice lessons mm -hmm. But I think at the time I was, I don't, I don't want to be told what to do. Right. So I did it for about two, three weeks and then I left. But I used to sing in school, mm -hmm. in primary school. Then I joined high school. I did the mass choir, you know, the ones where you yes. go sing for the president. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So we did that and um, I remained in the music club. After that, I did a couple of musicals mm -hmm. um, with Sterling Quality Productions okay. at the National Theatre. That was now when I started performing. Right. For a bigger audience and a wedding, you know, so in you, public. So you used your talent um, and and kind of propelled it to now become um, an actress as well, yes, uh, yes. using your music. Tell yeah. us about that kind of um, you know transitioning. You've been singing, and now you transitioned onto the stage and yeah. you're using your music and your talent. How did that work? Well, the acting, um, I can't say I used to do it when I was young. Okay. But it was more of imitating people. Right. Imitating accents, imitating someone I see on TV. Mm -hmm. And the first time I actively got involved in acting was after high school, just before I went into university, when I did my first musical, right. which is now both acting and singing. Mm -hmm. So it helped me get into the whole taking on a character, but the music was like a buffer, you know, helping right. me like get into the, the groove of everything. But actually acting, like the television acting, mm -hmm. that actually did come from... Oh, last year, when as Rude Boys, we had our first gig, right. um, there was someone in the audience who spoke to me after and said, oh, do you act? And I was like, yeah, I've done a bit of acting mm -hmm. on theater. And he told me, okay, come for an audition. And I went and I got the part nice. in Changes, yes. Excellent. You yeah. have a very um, surprising, I would say, mm -hmm. um, educational and career background. <laughs> Studied psychology? Yes, really? I did. I did. Tell us about that experience and why. Why did you pick that? <laughs> I think I kind of fell into it. Mm -hmm. I was called, you know how like um, in Kenya you're called to public university? Yeah. So I was called to Moi University to study um, hotel and hospitality management, okay. which my dad was really excited about because that's his field. Right. But I went there and I just, I wasn't feeling it and I didn't like the campus. It was Chepkoilel campus and I was like... You know, I want to be in a university. So we went to the main campus, and I saw all this marble staircase, right. you know, a huge building, and I'm like, this College is where I want to be, yeah. Right. And um, I went and spoke to one of the, the members of the administration, mm -hmm. and I told them I want to change, you know. And I just auditioned for my first musical, Joseph. Right. And then the next day I get the news that I have to go to school. So, they t so I spoke to the administration guy, and he's like, um, well, you can change and come to this campus. Mm -hmm. This was in September 2004. And he's like, but you'll have to report in January. And I'm like, oh, yeah, perfect. Because right. that'll give me time now to do Joseph. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Code. Mm -hmm. And then he gave me a list of courses that, you know, I'd qualified for. Yeah. And I looked, and I was like, hmm, what looks interesting? Right. You know, because I still didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I just asked a few questions, and then... There was the Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, right. where you can major in psychology or political science or sociology. So I decided to take that because it's pretty much studying human behavior. And I figured if I can't decide now, at least if I have a bit of background in human behavior, I'm right. pretty sure I'll be fine wherever I go. Excellent. So that's what I did, and that's how I ended up there. Tell us how you think that um, course and, and get, getting into the human minds, um, how that has kind of taken you. Because after that, you pursued music very yeah. seriously. Yeah. Um, hooked up with Nazizi, got um, 
lead singer of Rude Boys Band, yeah. started the hustle in the Kenyan music industry. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to do. Tell us about that experience and what you were thinking. What am I going to do with this degree? How is it going to help me? Can I put the two together? Well, um, the degree, also, I, I decided on human behavior because I was so interested in advertising right. from a young age. And even after high school, I, I remember I went to an ad agency, a local ad ag agency, and said, please, can I just spend some time here? Right. And they were like, okay, yeah, you can be here for two weeks. And I ended up spending seven months. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And I, I figured, you know, the whole getting into the human mind to, to the point where you can convince someone that they need something they didn't even know about. Right. You know, I yeah. was, that was just amazing. And I thought human behavior, mm -hmm. psychology would help me with that. And eventually in my life, at some point, I will end up in the advertising field. Right. So, and also my interest in media, radio, TV, all these things, I was like, you know, it's good to know where people are coming from. It's a good foundation. Yeah, because yeah. it helps with relating to people, knowing how to talk to different people, right. knowing how to be in a certain situation, and knowing that, okay, with these, these kind of people, you can't act the same as a different kind of people. Right. You know, you have to know how to talk to them, how to be with them, how to, how to be on the same level. Right. So, yeah, that's how psychology helped me. And also with my music, it does help with the songwriting or how to sing to a crowd mm -hmm. or how to just engage. Yeah, things. yeah, it is, it is. It's good because now I feel anywhere I go, mm -hmm. I usually just, I have no trouble. I'm, I've become very shy. I was never shy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think the experience kind of made me shy. I'm a bit more reserved with how I speak to people. Right. But once we break the ice, you're good to go. I'm good to go, yeah. You auditioned for TPF3. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell us about that experience and, and, you know, what were you thinking standing there in front of judges? Did you think that you were going to make it to the house to being the fourth runner-up? <sighs> the thing with, with Project Fame is that I really didn't want to. You really? know? Yeah, it you're was... Kidding. I used to, I, I looked at the first Project Fame and I was like, well, I want to be there. Right. I even used to think if I was, if I was doing this show, what song would I have picked? Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. I really used to picture myself there. Okay. Then with the second Project Fame, um, I don't know, people didn't really receive it that well. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the whole vibe around it, guys were like, mm. so I was thinking, okay, Project Fame, do I really want to go? Do right. I really want to, is that a situation I'd want to put myself in? Why did you go? But then I thought, I don't really have anything to lose. True. Better you know? try and fail than not exactly. try at all. Exactly. Right? If I go for the first edition and I don't make it, at least years from now, I look back and say, you know, at least I tried. Yeah. Yeah, musically, there was nothing to lose. It's the only thing it can do is propel me forward. Right, exactly. Give me a platform for people to hear what I can do mm -hmm. and to see what I love doing. So you, were you surprised when you did make it to, to that level? Um, what, what I did, because even on the day of the audition, mm -hmm. It, it still took a lot. Like, I showed up at the audition at 3 in the afternoon. Okay. You know, like, it was a, am I really going? Yeah. yeah it's my friend who actually said, okay, come, let's go. Oh, God, for fun. <laughs> 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 yeah. said, you're going, and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it was kind of, and then I was like, okay, since I'm doing this, let me, let me just pray. You know, it was, I used to pray, let me just make it to the final. Right. Just make it to the final. I don't want to go for, to have an eviction party. I don't want to go home and then watch the show. I don't, I didn't want to watch it. Right. I wanted to just make it to the final. If I can make it to the final, then I'm good. Okay. You know?